Factsverse presents This man ordered Domino's Pizza every day for 10 years. You won't believe what happens next. Pizza – it's one of the most popular food items in the world. In the United States alone, it's estimated that over 3 billion pizzas are sold every year. That's just a restaurant-ordered pizza. When you count the frozen pizza and the store-made pizza, that number would be so much higher. Well, one person who really loves pizza is Kirk Alexander. This 48-year-old man from Salem, Oregon loves pizza so much, he orders from his local Domino's Pizza every day. Well, due to his daily orders, he got to know the delivery drivers and the manager of the store on a first-name basis. He lived alone, and if he didn't order pizza one day, it likely meant he wasn't eating at all. The man ordered Domino's Pizza every day for 10 years. Well, Kirk didn't only order pizza. He would often switch it up by ordering sandwiches, pasta, wings, but it was always from Domino's Pizza. When he ordered his pizza, he would do it online, and when the employees saw his name and the address run across the screen, they were never surprised. They knew that by 5 p.m. each day, they'd be getting Kirk's orders, and somebody would be delivering his food to him. When the staff noticed that they had not received an order from Kirk in a couple of days, they began to worry. First, they thought, well, maybe he was on vacation. If he were away, well, then he wouldn't be there to order, obviously. A few employees knew Kirk better than others. They knew that he did not take vacations. Over the years, he had never gone away even once. Other staff members were sure that the next day his name would shine across the screen. Unfortunately, it didn't. When Kirk had not placed an order in the past 11 days, the manager, Sarah Fuller, was really worried about him. She spoke to a few of the employees who were also concerned. One of the drivers was heading out to make a delivery, so Sarah asked him to stop by Kirk's house and check on him. Because the employee knew Kirk well, he was more than willing to do so. He considered Kirk to be part of the Domino's family, so he gladly accepted the responsibility of going to check on him. When the driver arrived at Kirk's house, he noticed the lights and the television were on. He assumed Kirk was inside, so he knocked on the door. Well, after knocking for a few minutes, the driver was surprised that nobody answered. He called Kirk's phone. It went straight to voicemail. The driver was worried, so he went back to the Domino's store to let his manager know what had happened. The manager, Sarah, could have just let it go and hoped for the best, but something in her gut told her there was something really wrong. She realized she couldn't ask her drivers to break into Kirk's home, so she decided to call the police. When the dispatcher asked her why she was calling, she told him that Kirk was a Domino's Pizza customer who had been ordering from them every day for years. For the past 11 days, though, he hadn't placed an order. The sheriff's office dispatcher thought that it was kind of odd that Domino's Pizza was calling for a welfare check, but he was willing to send somebody out just to see. Sarah felt better after hanging up the phone. When the deputies arrived at Kirk's home, they knocked on the door and called out his name, they listened closely and they heard a very weak voice coming from inside the house. They broke down the door and they found Kirk lying on the floor. He looked awful. They quickly called the rescue, hoping that they got there in time to save Kirk's life. When Kirk got to the hospital, they determined he'd had a stroke. Because the doctors didn't know when the stroke occurred, they weren't sure about Kirk's prognosis. Fortunately, after a few days in the hospital and with some hydration and medication, Kirk started doing better. The doctors told him that with physical therapy and proper care, he would make a full recovery. When the story about what Sarah and the Domino's team did for Kirk, it quickly went viral. Sarah and her assistant manager, Jenny, they were invited to be on Good Morning America to tell the story. As a reward for their good deed, GMA gave the entire store movie tickets to go see Captain America Civil War, which was new in theaters at the time. They were also sending Sarah and Jenny to Domino's Worldwide Rally, which was a convention that took place every year. Sarah was happy about the gifts, but she was happier that Kirk was going to be all right. Subscribe for more.